We only have one pack left. Just one pack left. You can see two pack wrappers. Garbage Book Kid Series 1. We have one pack left. I can sell this pack by itself, unopened, for way more probably than I can get out of it. It's not about money. It's about having some fun on Garbage Pill Kids Day, all right? Garbage Pill Kids Series 1 Wax Packs Day. Gonna be opening this on up. This is probably the highest quality pack I'm opening up today in terms of what it looks like. It has the 25 cents on it. It's pretty lined up. If this pack were to be graded, I think this pack would be graded like a seven, maybe a seven. It's not the highest quality pack in the world. No big deal. Whatever. Let's open it on up. Oh my gosh. The fluid smoothness of the opening of this pack tells me it's authentic. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Let's get this pack on opened of this. Okay. You got to understand my lifelong goal is to open up an atom bomb or a blasted billy. I don't know who it is yet, but I can give you a little hint. It's one of those two. I can't believe it. See, I held all of these up to the light. I could only see through one of them really well. I couldn't see through the other two too well at all. This is, let me just show you for the camera. I know you can't see too well from your vantage point, but when I replay this video, I want people to see on the zoom up that that is right there, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it's on the back of the pack, so we have a little bit of wax residue, but it opens smoothly. Who is it? Atom Bomb or Blasted Billy? I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. We have some uh, tearing. The pack doesn't want to open so great. But I don't think anyone's going to reseal and repack an atom bomb or a blasted billy. Okay. It's ripping pretty badly, unfortunately. So this pack was backwards. <gasps> oh my goodness. I just pulled Atom Bomb. Woo! I don't care that there's wax residue on this guy. I pulled him myself. He went straight into the case. Let me show him to you. I just pulled Atom Bomb. Oh my gosh. You gotta understand. The chances of me pulling Atom Bomb are less than 27%. Three packs probably closer to 10% chance that I would pull either Atom Bomb or Blasted Billy, making it closer to a 5% chance, because I was including just the artwork. Uh, in the 27.27% chance, and eh, that, that doesn't make much sense, all right? It's probably closer to 10% chance Blasted Billy or Atom Bomb, 5% chance actually pulling an Atom Bomb. I'm bad at math, okay? But I got the cheater's license, Atom Bomb. I always wanted this card. I always wanted to pull this card. This makes this day awesome. He has some wax residue on his face. Don't care. He's beautifully centered. Look how centered he is. Here's my other atom bombs. Now I own two atom bombs. One that I pulled out of a pack myself. Got my original cheater's license atom bomb to differentiate, but the off-centering of my old one. If this one didn't have wax residue on his face, man, he'd be worth so much more. Looking at the corners of this atom bomb, beautiful, that's a 10. Eh, that might be a 9 or an 8. I have to admit, that corner's not the best, but it's straight out of the pack, you can tell. That's a 10. That might be a 9 or an 8. Okay. Wow. I'm noticing... Let me just check to see if it's glossy. Remember, the glossy is the rare type. Oh my goodness. 
It's a glossy back. It is glossy. We have a glossy atom bomb. Wow. How do I know it's glossy? Just comparing it to the other pack. It, you can't tell on this camera. You can't tell. But the shininess, and you can't tell because it's in plastic cases. This is very matte finish. This is glossy. Uh, it's a glossy atom bomb with wax residue on his face. How much wax residue? I don't know. Can you take it off? I don't know. But the fact that I pulled this atom bomb today, man, that's amazing. I'm never going to sell it. I'm going to keep it forever. You can pull an atom bomb out of a pack. Whew. This pack was backwards.